Hey, what's up, guys? It's that Fever Gamer, yeah? and this is my third episode of my Train Tips series. And um, this episode is about using bronze players to make coins. It's another way of uh, beating the market crash, as my last episode will show you as well with my silver players. And as I said before, people were buying gold packs to find Team of the Years a couple of weeks ago, so um, you know the gold prices went down on players. The silver and bronze pretty much stayed the same. Because you know people aren't looking for team leaders in bronze or silver packs. So trading bronze players is a safe and effective way of making coins. You rarely go wrong with these. What you want to do with the bronze players is find a good player to trade with. Yeah, the easiest way to find a good player is based on pace. You know, every player I trade with mostly has one thing in common, which is pace, which is what most people in this game would like from a bronze team. First off, you saw me trading with a couple of Premiership players, but I'll get back to them later in the video. Just gonna talk about these players who are from other leagues than the English leagues, such as Ash from the MLS. He has 89 pace, which is gonna be your first choice left back if you made an MLS team. I got Smith and Pierce, who are from League One, I think. They both got really high pace for centre back, so that's why they're gonna be sent for good amounts of money. And that's why people want to buy them because they're, you know, first choice centre backs. Here we got Wellington Silva, who's got 90 pace. And if you want to make a bronze Brazil squad or a Liga Adelante squad, then he would be a good choice at left mid or left wing, based on his stats. So yeah, the easiest way, as I said, is just find a PC player. The easiest way to find a good player to buy and sell with bronze players because they're in demand. The pick up a couple of slews here from Blackburn. He's also got a olden version, which I get here for two grand cheaper than what he sells for. Buy him here for 11k, sell him for 14. Got another one for 1212. Got him for 13,250, sell him for 15,500. I actually concentrated on Premiership players most of the time and uh, found only a Balanta, it was a really good player to buy and sell with. I got one here for 2000, buy now, 59th minute. I did actually search later on and the lowest buy now for any formation was 5900 I think. So yeah, good pick up there. And, uh, I did find out a good method, it's going through every position in the Premiership. And goalkeeper, left back, centre back, right back, and so on. And just went through and saw which players are the best players in each position. So you know which players people are going to buy if they're going to make a bronze premiership squad. So you know, you got the players that people want, basically. So as I was going through all the positions, I found um, this guy, Obita. He's actually a pretty decent player to buy and sell. I went through all his formations and his most popular ones seem to be ones with left mids in them, obviously. I picked one up here for a thousand. He sells for about three thousand five hundred I think. O Beng is actually another really good one. He's got eighty pace for a right back, which is pretty good. And Jones is the best keeper in the league, so he's gonna be most wanted. Blantnery I got for 650, sold for 3,500 there. Got another one for 1,500. He sells for 5,000, which is a really good buy. We'll beat here again at 4,1,2,1,2, which is the best formation. Sell him for 3,500, he got, got him for 700. This is my final trade pile, guys. Big variety of players, which is always what you need when you're doing the bronze players method. Yeah, I made 40k doing this over one day, and uh, yeah, this is the end of the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I like it, appreciate it. Thanks, bye. Hey guys, this is the Spooge Gaming, and today I have to bring you my new episode of the Cup 